Okay, but like, should I be? Okay. I'll introduce you, okay? <laughs> and what should I do? Yes. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We are in Catania, Italy, Italia. Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own. I have this camera and you watching. So grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up. And today we are exploring the city. We've already been here for two days we've kind of had a slow start but today is tourist day we're going to explore and I even have a new friend from Poland with a car going by <laughs> we have a special guest with me today this is my new friend Kinga <laughs> she is currently volunteering at the hostel that we're staying at which is a really sick hostel it's very small but um, it has a nice downstairs area an open space and this like open theater you can hang out in um, and there's such so fun Look at the cute little dog. Catania has been an interesting start. I have been catcalled about, I don't know how many times. Like we get catcalled like every two minutes. Not really catcalled the full whistle, but you know, like a little hello and it's just not a hello. Oh my God, wait, this dog needs to. He's cute. Look at the jewel. So I got this thing here. Oh really? That's okay. Uh, oh, you do. Oh, <laughs> That was our, the owner of the hostel, but we thought it was somebody not so nice talking to us. Anyway, this neighborhood is a little bit, <clears throat> but once you get back onto the main street, it's better. It's a little bit less beautiful here. Definitely old and rustic, and the sidewalks are very small, as we can see. So let's go explore. This fishing place is disgusting. Yes, it smells. It's so, so, so bad. It's awesome. We just have to go straight through, right? Watch out. So just don't understand. It's just men. It's not really like, like a whole market, you know? Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> it's like a fat, it's like a senior. Grow it like on Sicily? Maybe like a little bit. I don't know. But um, I think we just got that cat call on uh, camera. Oh, that one. Yeah, it was to us. Since I last filmed, which is about a block away, we've gotten two. So, good start. Yeah. Good start. We just walked through the fish market, which is super stinky and messy and just a lot of men loitering. Everything. Okay, what so church this is church, this? It's ugly inside. Standing by St. Agatha Church. Which inside is missing a lot of murals that most Italian or European churches have. We found it to be quite simple inside. Um, but definitely the stonework and just the size of the cathedral is quite fascinating. And inside is also a guest dead body of one of the uh, cardinals as well. Here is the Fontana de Elefante or Elephant Fountain, which has now, it is a Roman fountain and now the symbol of Catania and the city is this little elephant. I 
think it's a science, Department of Science, but like, what do these kids get? historical facts. Can you um, hundreds of years ago, I was living here. <laughs> but then they kicked me out. That's the oh story. Okay, guys, by the eclectic Cafios and the Rich Garden, it was built from 1702. Dun, dun, dun. Wow, okay, yeah. I'm a rule follower, so I know, but it is a museum. Just been walking through the university. The monastery was an eight euro tour to actually enter the monastery, which we decided not to do, but instead we've just been exploring these beautiful courtyards, seeing some new succulent cactus-like trees that I've never seen before that are very big. And Mount Etna is supposed to be behind here somewhere. Everything Catania seems to appear much older and obviously many European towns are older, but this one just seems not to have been refurbished or restored as much as other places like behind us we have this rock wall that could use a little touch up and beyond in this view a lot of the streets as well the cobblestones are wonky and things just aren't quite as clean and yesterday when I was at the beach really noticed a ton of litter at the beach and someone mentioned that they just don't respect where they live and I thought that that sentence rang really true in the way that the streets are taken care of and the way people drive which is crazy here and just the general consideration of others, including catcalling. Anyway, that's their problem. Just be glad you don't have to do housekeeping. You could go to Selima and do housekeeping for free rent. All right, we are on Via Cruciferi. I'm definitely mispronouncing that, but this street has, so far we can see three churches that are often in the Baroque style. One of them we can't go into, but we have the second behind me, and then just over here we have another one right next to each other. We're not really sure why they would build so many churches next to one another, but I'm sure there was a purpose back in the day, and now they just look beautiful. So next off our list, we have seen Via Cruciferi, and next I think we are going to go to the Roman Amphitheater. Un café, por favore. Mm. 
Normally I don't put sugar in my coffee, but I find the espresso here to be so bitter and so strong that a little zucchero helps me drink it. We're just looking for a little pick-me-up before we head to the Roman Amphitheater and the Central Park. And one more stop that I'm forgetting right now. We are just taking a nice pit stop and rest in one of the central parks, which is really nice because it's actually clean and groomed oh. here. And Kenya is in the video. We're feeling the walking, the pebble stones, the cobble streets with maybe not the best walking shoes on, but this breeze feels lovely. It's about 26 degrees, but with the breeze, it sometimes feels much cooler, but when the sun's out, it feels much warmer. I feel like I shouldn't have worn pants, but then also sometimes I want my sweater on, so I don't know what to do. Well, this was the, uh, we did the Theater Roman. Yeah. This is, I think we did San Benedetto Church, and just the castle, which I think is back towards our... Oh, yeah. Our... All right, we have an arancini al burro, which is basically like a deep fried rice cheese ball is my simple way of translating it. <sighs> Look at it. There is some delicious fresh cheese on the inside and then rice, don't think like sushi rice or Asian rice, more like a risotto rice, but it is definitely Sicilian street comfort food and this is my third in three days. Also, this whole ball costs 240 euros. We are currently standing outside Castello Ursino. Ursino, if I were to pronounce it in English, is very close to actually the hostel we're staying at. And it is a square floor plan, so I think it's gonna be quite easy to walk around. And in 1526, the castle became a prison, which you can see from the prison's graffiti on the walls. And in 1669, it was surrounded by a lava flow that extended the coast of a couple of kilometers because we have Mount Etna here, which is a volcano. I believe it is still active because you can't hike all the way to the top about hiking it but it was 60 euros so if you do come to Catania and you have the budget I think a hike to Mount Etna would be fun but for me not right now I also think this is a great example of how people are respecting their city so much litter everywhere and plastic in particular as an FYI it costs 10 euros with a full ticket to enter the castle Eight euros for a reduced ticket, which I'm gonna guess is senior, maybe child, and four euros for a school ticket, which I would think is a university student pass, but school could also mean like kids' school. So for now, we're gonna pass on it and we're gonna head back to the hostel because this chiquita has to work. Yeah. And uh, she's doing an exchange with the hostel, a little volunteering, a little work, and you get free stay. And I am going to go back and work because I need to edit some YouTube videos and get some client work done. And now the sun's also at its like max peak, I think, for the day. So it's a good time to be back inside to not burn my scalp, face, arms. Good morning, friends. I'm ending this Catania vlog inside my hostel. It is currently 4.55 a.m. I know that this 
vlog was short and sweet about Catania because honestly I didn't spend a lot of time outside my hostel. I made some great friends here at the Eco Hostel as well. Catania, in terms of the men catcalling, a great phrase a friend used was they bark don't bite. So I did get used to this after a while and built my confidence back up. I enjoyed a really awesome vegetarian restaurant. We got some pizza. We got some, some Sicilian wine. I never made it to Mount Etna. The beaches are good, but wear your shoes because there's glass in the sand. I may return, but I might also do more day trips to smaller Sicilian towns. So I think if I came back, I'd come with a friend, I'd have a car, and I would explore the surrounding towns and villages around Catania. But for now, this is it, friends. Please subscribe. We'll see you soon. Ciao for now. So if anything goes wrong, noise edit, but we have to do a greeting, so we're gonna stop. Oh sh <laughs> Shoot. be quiet though. Very fast, like yeah. And uh, I was using only like I must I'm so glad that I think so. No, don't do that. It was so I'm capturing it.